And now, live from the studios of WHUC, this is Real Talk. Good morning, and thank you for joining us for another edition of Real Talk. I am your host, Makala Brown. There is a movie being filmed in downtown Jackson starring Bruce Willis, and to many surprise, you would think that this project will only involve actors. However, there is a new, unique group of people that is working behind the scenes, including those on the High Shootica campus. Joining us today is Ms. Jantia Davis. Ms. Jantia Davis is the Clothing and Fashion Design Department Instructor. Let's give her a warm round of applause. <laughs> Ms. Davis, can you elaborate on your involvement in regards to this project? Well, our involvement with the project for uh, the movie set was to go inside of the costume department and assist with any costume needs like alterations and sewing that was needed for the actors on the film. All right, Ms. Davis, how did your department get involved in this project? The, the department got involved. Um, I was on my way to work and I received a phone call from one of my colleagues who said they had an emergency in the costume department for the film. Uh, she asked me, she was the production manager for the movie, and she asked me, could I come in to assist the costume department? And I told her, well, I'm on my way to work, so is it okay if I would bring my students along so that they could get the experience as well? So this is how we became involved with the project for the film. Uh, Ms. Davis, did, any, did you or any of your students get to meet any famous actors such as Bruce Willis? We did not get to meet any famous actors because um, doing behind the scenes, um, they want to keep a certain protocol. So you may get to um, experience greeting some of the actors, but most of the famous actors have their own their own rooms, I'll, I'll say, and the main costumer gets to costume them. Mm -hmm. But we did get to meet Bruce Willis look alike. <laughs> so that was that was amazing. Well, that's good. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, more information with Ms. Davis. Stay tuned. When stories hit home, you can trust the WHUC News 7 team to give you the information you need. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Sharon Washington. And I'm Jordan Fudge. We have the news team that you can count on, and the only Hines College news station that cares more than any other college station in Mississippi. Jim is in the construction, so both girls and this boys... This is home. And this is the news station. WHUC News 7. Welcome back. For those who are just joining us this morning, I'm here with Ms. Davis, the clothing and fashion design department instructor, as well as one of her students, Ms. Hannah Barner. Hi, Ms. Barner. How are you today? I'm doing well. Ms. Barner, I understand that you participated in the movie. Can you tell me a little bit about that experience? Oh, it was an amazing experience. I was able to help out with some patches, sewing patches on sleeves or hemming one of the actor's um, pants uh, and some other little things, letting out pants, ironing, stuff like that. Mrs. Davis, mm -hmm. I understand that you have a mood board for us that you use in the classroom as well as when you were on set. Can you give us a little demonstration? I can. So what a mood board is, is in fashion, what you want to do, even in costume design, um, you get the role of the actors, the, you read the script, and you come up with the costumes. The same thing we do in fashion design. So here a student who is Lyric Gibson. He created this mood board and the same thing goes when the students first walked in the costume, um, the costume room, they saw the actors digitized and they also saw fabrics on the board and they also saw descriptions there. So what that means is um, if this was particularly Bruce Willis costume, this will have Bruce Willis fabrics, the fabrics associated with his costumes as well as which scene he's in. So that's something we teach students and that's something they take in the field with them as well to have that experience and have that knowledge. Alrighty. Ms. Davis, with COVID-19 affecting much of the enrollment of students, how important is it for your department to participate in events such like this? It is very important that our department gets out and into the field that we show others uh, what we're doing here at Hines Utica campus. So for example, there were some students there from Jackson State University and they were participating um, with the movie. Mm -hmm. However, our department 
had costume design. Uh, so when they came in and they were asking questions in regards to what does a costume designer do, mm -hmm. they saw students from Heinz Utica actually bringing their sewing machines, actually working on the costumes, and they were amazed at what we were doing as a department there because they don't have that program there. So. All right, Ms. Davis. Ironically enough, we had the director of the film, Curtis Nichols, in Utica at the beginning of last semester to speak about some of his other projects. Mm -hmm. The film, I understand, is called A Date to Die. The producer is adding 20 more to the production crew for future films. Do you think that your department may possibly have a slot in future films? I definitely think our department has a slot in future films simply because the costume designer who was the lead uh, designer there, she was impressed with Hannah. She was impressed with the other students that came. And she said that any time that they come back to the state of Mississippi to do any film, they will call upon us first. So that was an amazing thing for her to say, just because the students showed professionalism during their time there and how they were already trained to take on that fast paced environment. So that's an, an amazing thing. All right. Here's a question for both of you before we end today. What is the takeaway for your students or yourself as for those who were involved in the project, as well as how this may help you on future jobs? You want to go first, Hannah? <laughs> well, the takeaway for um, me personally was just the fact that I could bring my students along mm -hmm. and the pride as a teacher that I received, the exchange of knowing that I have imparted knowledge into my students and now they're in a real world environment and they can actually work in that environment and be successful in it. That was my takeaway overall. But not only that, for them to get into the field and them to see a real live costume designer. And by the way, this costume designer actually makes 3000 to almost $20,000 a day oh, wow. to complete a film. Mm -hmm. So for them to be able to look at her and say, wow, I'm in the same room. I'm seeing what's going on. And this is a reality for me. This is something that I can do and I'm trying to be doing. So that's a takeaway for me. And for you, Ms. Barner? I've always been interested in fashion design for movies and stuff, especially historical costuming. But I was able to learn so much about the process. I kept, I was able to ask her question, lots of questions, and she answered them gladly. And, uh, she's had so much experience in Broadway, uh, not Broadway, Disney, and lots of avenues. And it was just amazing to learn so much of a broad spectrum of um, clothing and fashion design outlets. That is amazing. Well, I would like to thank Ms. Davis as well as her student for taking time out of their busy day to sit down and inform us on such a great project, including the fashion and clothing department here at Heinz Utica. And thank you for tuning in with us at home. Remember to like us on Facebook at Radio and Television Production and subscribe to our YouTube channel at WHUC News 7, Heinz Community College, Utica Campus. And you're watching Real Talk. Until next time.